Welcome back to another video. This one is super cool and exciting. I just, let me just show you. This thing, this thing is sick. It's just so beautiful. I just want this thing to sit on a shelf and just be magnificent. It's glorious JRX2 retro goodness. <laughs> so we're gonna pop this open and take a look at it in just a second. But as you can tell, this is a Losi branded product. So it is very much a basher type product, but with racing heritage, kind of cool. It's super cool. Let's stop yapping. Let's open up this box and see what we got inside. What a sweet little vintage car. This is obviously a reissue of the Team Losi JRX2 from back in the day, but a mini version. Now in today's world of Horizon branded products, the TLR line is going to be their super fast die hard race stuff. And the Losi brand, which is what this is under, is more of the hobby or the recreational side. So it's not a full blown race car, but still it is an imitation of what was a full blown race car back in the day. Diving into it, we can see right away that it has that old school, super once upon a time, cutting edge, five link trail suspension technology. The tracks of yesteryear were very much an outdoor conditioned track where it was super loamy, dusty, bumpy, rough, no crazy big jumps or whips or anything like that. Just good old fashioned outdoor dirt racing. So of course in that environment, you had to have these big knobby hard tires. So super cool that they made some vintage scaled down versions of those iconic pin style tires. Those are obviously going to be paired with a ribbed style front tire as well. Also taking it back to the technology of yesteryear, this thing has a fiberglass kind of plate style chassis, something that was featured on the old vehicle, we're seeing it here on this little mini scaled down version as well. I'm getting flashbacks to these old um, clamping style spring collars. It has a little screw so that you just loosen it and then you set the height that you want your spring to be, which would you know adjust your ride height. The problem with them was is that if you crashed really hard or you didn't tighten it all the way, they could obviously self adjust in the middle of a run, which wouldn't be ideal. Hence why we went to the threaded style bodies of today. Super cool that they kept it era correct and put those on this little guy. The shock bodies are metal though, and they're filled with oil, so they work really well. Adding to its racing style features, it does have adjustable turnbuckles. So if you wanna put some toe in or toe out on the front end or camber those suckers in or out, depending on whatever the track needs are, you could definitely do that. One of the coolest features on this thing is this rear skid plate. It has the JRX2 etched into it. Been a while since I've seen one of those, but really cool that it's on here and has that nice little detail. This car being aimed more for recreational enjoyment or just a very pretty shelf trophy piece, which is what mine's gonna be. It does come with a very simple, old school, closed end bell brushed system. So it's not gonna be very fast, but if you wanna get it out and play around in the backyard or chase your dogs or cats around the house, you can definitely do so. One thing that's neat if you wanna tinker with the gearing aspect is that it does have some prefabbed holes that are marked 
between I believe 17, 18, and 19 tooth pinion options. So if you want to tinker with it a little bit, you want to get some bottom end grunt or some add some top end speed, you can do that and not have to worry about getting the gear mesh exactly right or messing it up. And those are covered with a nice little plastic cover over the gears. So you can rip around in the backyard and not worry about getting dirt inside your spur gear. Now these come in three different color options. This being the red one. Obviously I'm biased and I'm glad they sent me the red one. It also comes in a blue version with some old school Team Losi decals on there. Those things look super cool. And it does come in a black version. This thing is going to be ready to run right out of the box. It's going to come with the car as you see it built, painted, ready to go. It's gonna come with a 650 milliamp battery. Servo, obviously as seen here. The ESC is a ESC receiver in one. So I'm not sure how you would possibly be able to use this and upgrade the radio. So uh, if you're looking to upgrade the whole electronic system, you might have to go the route that you did with like something, the, the Mini B Pro Roller, where you bring in a whole electronic system. That's probably the route you would have to go if you were looking to upgrade any of this particular stuff. The radio that it comes with is pretty simple. It is a 2.4 gigahertz style radio, so we're not gonna have to deal with the glitch runaways of yesteryear, which is awesome. So it's gonna be really easy to race it outside with your friends, with other vehicles, etc. One of my favorite things about the box is that it says oh, down here under need to complete, the first line item is memories of your JRX2. <laughs> because it's true, this vehicle or the truck that was much like this was probably the first thing that most people had and got us into RC back in the 80s and 90s. I'd love to see what you guys have to say. If you can remember like your first race with this thing back in the day or an occasion as to why you got it. Maybe your mom or dad bought it for you for your birthday or something like that. Leave a comment down below, a short little story of how you first became acquainted with this platform back in the day. I'll go first. I actually know that the JRX platform, the truck, was my very first real race car that I drove. It was actually my mom's and my dad, he probably was didn't want me to destroy his car. So he's like, yeah, drive your mom's car. And so I drove it around the parking lot out in front of where we were living at the time. And I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. Like I was probably five years old, maybe five, six tops. And I just thought that I was the coolest kid on the face of the planet because for the first time I got to drive that and not my little Tyco something or other that I had at the time so many memories and i'm sure that you guys have a lot of those similar stories to share as well so that's going to be it for this one thank you to horizon and low c tlr for sending me this vehicle to get it to review for you guys oh, what a cool car so that's going to do it for this one if you guys like the video leave a thumbs up that definitely helps us out and subscribe for future cool releases and race day adventures that we're going to do in the future thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one peace so cool. So cool. How could you not love this thing? Ah, so sick.